Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. KB5003637, that was this month's June 2021's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, which rolled out earlier this week, is unfortunately causing some issues, and there have been some user reports that it is messing up the icons on the taskbar. And this is unfortunate because I made a video and posted that near the end of May last month where the optional preview build update KB5003214 was causing issues with the taskbar. And now it looks like that some of those issues unfortunately have now moved into KB5003637. Now this is the update I'm talking about. If you just go to your Windows update, view update history. KB5003637, that was this month's um, automatic compulsory update, which would have been installed automatically onto your machine if obviously you didn't um, pause it till a later date. And it mainly carried important security fixes to the Windows 10 operating system. Now, as I mentioned in the video I made on the optional update from last month causing issues with the taskbar, um, it's causing... Uh, the, uh, the icons on your taskbar to you know get mixed up in random order, disappear, maybe overlap, some issues maybe with the date and time and so on. And just like I reported on the optional update, it's mainly to do with the news and interests feed. And now another issue is also caused now when your recommended default uh, display scaling settings for your monitor or screen are not set to um, the recommended default settings so you know you could have changed your scaling to a smaller or larger size now obviously uninstalling the update can get rid of the problem and if you just go back to your view update history and you go to uninstall updates and you just go down to the bottom kb5003637 you can just click on that uninstall the update and restart your computer to remove it and that should take away the problem but that is not always recommended, especially with KB5003637 because it fixed critical security flaws in the Windows 10 operating system. So obviously, if you uninstall that from your system, you are opening up your system to um, you know, threats and attack. So another thing you can do, and this, this is obviously the, 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 the simplest uh, solution to the problem, is that you can just go to your a taskbar widget, your news and interests feed, right click, go to news and interests and just turn it off. Or another uh, thing you can try is you can go to your Windows settings, uh, system, and under display, just scroll down and here you can see scale and layout. Make sure it's on the recommended um, uh, scaling uh, resolution that's 100%. So you might have changed it to 125. And if you have done that, you could be experiencing those problems with your taskbar. So just put it back to the recommended display scaling settings as well. And then in spite of you know all these uh, problems with the uh, taskbar, it's also apparently causing some issues with uh, printers for some users are experiencing some printer problems. And that is because KB5003637 um, had a security fix for the print spooler, which is a service that runs in the background on Windows 10. And obviously, um, it's causing uh, the issues with that print spooler service. And if the print spooler service isn't running properly, you won't be able to print or use your printer properly because your printer is um, dependent on that service. And then um, it's been reported, though, that you can... Uh, fix the printer problem by un uninstalling the update which I've just showed you. So it's unfortunate this is a very new update, a patch Tuesday cumulative update and already there are user reports as I've mentioned it is causing problems so that is unfortunate. So I just wanted to share this with you. If you're experiencing any problems with your taskbar you just disable your news and interest feed. Make sure your scaling is at the recommended setting for your screen or you could just uninstall the update and that will obviously fix any printer problems that you might have had as well. I hope you found the, this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.